again to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over patterns and how to use them. So we're gonna get right into it. You can make your own custom shapes for this. However, for simplicity's sake, we're gonna go ahead and just use a circle. So I'm going to pick our circle. We're gonna put it, eh, let's do 45 millimeter diameter. Now let's say that you want multiple of these in a circular motion. You would then go to your create drop down, go to your circular pattern. Now, this is what's interesting. It asks objects to highlight one. So this is obviously what we wanna make more of in a circular pattern. So we're going to highlight it. We are then going to go down to our center point. We're going to highlight this. We will then go to our center point, which is our origin, and we will click on our origin. As you can see, it has made a copy, uh, three copies, or not three copies, three total circles spaced correctly apart at each origin. So we will now go. So if you wanted to have more than three, you would simply go to our quantity. We would go five. If we want to go to 10, we can type in 10. There is now 10 circles in a perfect circle spaced correctly apart from each other. Now you can also do angular spacing. This is already highlighted as a full 360 degree circle. You can also go in and do an angle, which you can space them out however much you would like from each other. You can also go in and do a symmetric. So you are pulling from the origin and putting it wherever you desire to have it. So many different functions you can use this for. This is for if you're making, uh, I guess, holes or something of the like in your sketch, you can get multiple, uh, multiple holes in a circular pattern, all spaced, spaced apart uh, perfectly. So that is the circular pattern. Next video, we're gonna talk about rectangular patterns. Those are uh, a nice one to know as well. So stay tuned for the next video.